Hey guys, I hope you're doing fantastic. Coach Ulu here and welcome to our PPA training channel. Remember to subscribe if you want to keep getting access to our how-tos and training videos as soon as they come out. Today we're going to be working on the ball mastering sequence number nine at home. So guys, let's jump in right away and go over these drills. Oh, by the way, these are going to be different than the ones that we've been doing. Okay, so now the setup is going to be different, but we're going to be using some of the same skill moves that we practiced already and that we learn. Okay, so now the way we're gonna set up is easy. Okay, we're gonna have a line of three cones. Okay, we're gonna have cone, steps, two steps in between cone and cone, two steps in between cone and cone. Okay, two steps. Now, the first we're gonna be getting, like the first variation of this reel, okay, we've already done it. If you guys did the ball master sequence, number one is gonna be just as, just similar like that. Okay, so now, we're gonna start here. You're gonna, you're gonna start with bottom between your legs. Okay, for the first variation, we're gonna go bottom between your legs, after four touches, you're gonna go scissors. Come on, you're gonna go scissors, push it out. Once you get the second cone, you're gonna push it over the inside of your foot, stop it. At the second cone, you're gonna bring the ball back. As you bring the ball back, you're gonna step back with your right, step back with your lefty, and you're gonna pull the iniesta, right to left, right? Once you do the iniesta, you're gonna dribble off to the third cone. Once you get to the third cone, you're gonna stop it, and you're gonna do a pull back Nike sign. You're gonna go pull back as the ball is going in between the top cone and the middle cone, you're gonna pull a croit. Okay, you're gonna croit it behind your back, Push it out with your lefty and stop it. Now, in the way down, this is the way we're gonna bring the ball. We're gonna go single footed only with your lefty, okay? Second time around, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go scissors, push it out, or back, iniesta, dribble up, pull back, cross it, push it out, and then instead of bringing it with your lefty, you're gonna bring it across your body and then you're gonna bring it back down with your right. Third time, you're gonna do the same thing, but in the way down, you're gonna bring it. You're gonna bring. You're gonna bring it back with the bottom of your feet. You're gonna bring it back. Bottom to your right. Bottom to your left. Bottom to your right. Bottom to your left. Okay, that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so watch the next clip so you can see how we do the three variations. Uh, the first variation, but the three sequences. So now guys, for this second variation, okay, once we're done with the first one, for the second variation, we're gonna go, we're gonna start same again. Bottom between your legs, we're gonna do the first variation. Now on the second variation, when you go back down, okay, you're gonna dribble up on the left side of the cone, my right is. On the left side of the cones, we're gonna dribble up with your right, you're gonna dribble all the way up past the top cone, and then you're gonna stop with the bottom of your feet. Now, once you stop with the bottom of your feet, you're gonna go single footed back down with your right knee, but then in between the top cone and the middle cone, you're gonna push the ball out with the outside of your foot. So you're gonna push the ball out with the outside of your right knee, and you're gonna go around the second, uh, around the middle cone and catch the ball with the bottom of your feet. Then you're gonna bring it all the way back down. And once you get to the orange cone, we're gonna do the hip fake move, okay? We're gonna go out to your right, stop it, and then across my body to go around to again, okay, to go again. Now again, the hip fake move, okay? You're gonna find it in other videos, okay? But I'm gonna explain it here quick. Okay, with the bottom of your feet, if you're righty, you're gonna push the ball with the bottom of your righty to the right side. Now, as you push it to the right side, you're gonna get off the ball and then stop it again. So you're gonna go righty, push it out, step on the ball, okay? Remember, you gotta get your feet off the ball. So you're gonna get it out, stop the ball, and now you see how my, shift, my, my, my head shifted with the ball, okay? I'm gonna shift with the ball and then bring it across my body with the bottom of my feet. Once the ball is in the side, I'll do it again. So I'm gonna dribble up, okay? Start with from your feet, single foot it back down, push it out with the outside, single foot it back down, hit fake. Okay, once you do it twice, you're gonna go again, pull it between your legs. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then the whole variation, okay? But you're gonna do this one starting with the seats, okay? That way you combine both variations. You're gonna go variation number one and variation number two together, like you're gonna see in the next row.
Okay, so now guys, for our third variation. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. I know lefties, I haven't explained that anything for you. Okay, so now in the first variation, the second variation is easy, right? I only explain it for my right. So I do the scissor, open around with my right, push it out with my, uh, push it out with my right, I put around with my left, push it out with my right. But if you're a lefty, you're only gonna do the opposite, okay? Instead of starting with your lefty, instead of starting with your righty, you're gonna start with your left. It's simple, right? When you dribble, you go all lefty. For my righty, when you dribble, you all go all righty. Okay, so now for the third variation, I'm gonna explain it for both, for righty and lefty, okay? So now, guys, for the third variation, it's simple, okay? You're gonna start with pulling with your legs. After four touches, okay, you're gonna do the whole thing, okay? But what you're gonna add at the end is, you're gonna dribble all the way up, past the cones. Once you get to the top, you're gonna bring it down, single foot it, Actually, my bad. Once you get to the top of the cones, you're gonna get around it, and then you're gonna go both feet through the cones. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Okay, now for my lefties, you're not gonna dribble on the right, on the left side of the cones, you're gonna dribble on the right side of the cones, okay? If you're a left, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, but you're gonna dribble on the left side of the left, on this left side of the cone. You're gonna dribble up, get around it with the outside the lefty, and then you're gonna go outside, inside, outside, inside, in the way back down, okay? So now, the full variation, the full variation number three, Goes this way. You're gonna go four touches, one, two, three, four. And my right is you're gonna start with your left. You're gonna go up and around with your lefty, push it out with your righty, up, stop with your righty, bring it back. We're gonna go in the air, dribble up with your righty, stop it. Then we're gonna go pull back, cross it, push it out with your lefty, stop it with the your lefty, bring it back down, single footed. Remember the first time, bring it up, bring it back down, single footed, second time, both feet, third time, bottom of your feet. Now, once you get to the, to, to the bottom, on the left side of the cones, you're gonna dribble right away, you're gonna dribble right away. Stop with the bottom of your feet. Then we're gonna go single foot it back down. Max on the first one, pushing it out with the outside of your foot. Then we're gonna single foot it back down. We're gonna do a hip fake. And then we're gonna do the third variation right away. We're gonna dribble up, okay? And then you're gonna get around the cone. And we're gonna go both feet outside inside, outside inside to go back down. Then my lefties, you're gonna do the same thing, but side with your left. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. But we're gonna go up around with your righty, push it out with your lefty. Up with your left, you stop with the your left. Then you're gonna bring it back, in the side left to right, dribble up, pull back, Nike sign. You're gonna cross it with your left, push it out with your right, and you're gonna bring it back down, single foot it down. Once you're down, look, you're on the right side of the cones, right? So you're gonna dribble up with your left, you're gonna dribble all the way up, stop. And actually, we're gonna go around the cones, and then we're gonna go both feet back down, outside inside, outside inside. That's the way we do it. Variation number three for both. Righties and lefties. So watch the next clip so you can see how it's done. Guys, now for our fourth variation, okay? So you're gonna you're gonna do the same thing you did in the third variation, but for the ones that have space, you're gonna start one, two, three, four. This is all the space I have, okay? I'm gonna start with four steps behind the cones. You can start with four, five, six, however much step you, uh, however much space you have behind the cones, use it because this time you're not gonna be doing the touches. We're just gonna start behind the defender, three, four, five, six, seven steps behind the defender. And now we're gonna attack the defender. Now on the dribble, you're gonna dribble now. Okay, we're gonna go scissors, out, up, back, iniesta, push, pull back, creep it, push it out, single foot it back down. Once you get down, you're gonna dribble up, boom, 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 boom. Start with the bottom of your feet. Single foot it back down, mix, single foot it back down, hit fake, dribble all the way up again, get around the cone, and we're gonna go both feet outside, inside, outside, inside. Then when you get back down, you're gonna dribble all the way out. Okay, you're gonna change direction and then we're gonna go out it again. Okay, we're gonna go scissors, out, up, back, in the start, dribble up, pull back, cross it, push it out, single foot it back down, then we dribble all the way up, stop with the bottom of your feet, single foot it back down, max, single foot it back down, hit fake, then you're gonna dribble all the way up, get around the cone, and then we're gonna go out and inside, out and inside. Okay, so now that's the first part. Notice that whenever I deal with my lefty or my righty, and my righty, okay? I put it down single footed. 
right? Second time, you're gonna bring it back down, lefty and righty, with the opposite foot. And the third time you do it, you're gonna do the same thing, but bring it back down with the bottom of your feet, okay? So now watch your next clip so you can see how it's done. Now guys, for this one we're not gonna have a full drill because we don't have any setup. We don't have any, enough space to set it up, right? But here, how do you go, how do you transition now for variation number four? Easy. So now what you wanna do, once you master the drill, once you master all the variations, what you wanna do is practice it starting from variation number four, right? But you're gonna do one to your right, one to your left. So everything's gonna stay the same. You're gonna go scissors, push it out, up, back, Iniesta, dribble up, pull back, cruise it, push it out, but not here. Because I started with my righty, I'm gonna go single footed back down with my lefty. Second time I do it, I'm gonna probably end up on my right side because I'm gonna be working with my lefty, right? And I bring it back down only with my righty. Third time, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna bring it instead of with my lefty because I started with my righty, I'm gonna bring it down with my righty. Okay, so now, what I mean by this is you're gonna do the full drill, the full thing, but the one thing that's gonna change is how you bring the ball back down, okay? The first time with your righty and lefty, you're gonna go single footed. Second time with your righty and lefty, you're gonna go single footed, bringing it down with the opposite foot. And third time for your righty and lefty, you're gonna bring it both feet. So the drill is gonna look very similar to the variation number four, okay? But the difference is you're gonna be doing it one with your righty, one with your lefty. One with your righty, one with your lefty, and that's it. Okay, you're not gonna have a full clip on this one because it's uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Now, you know what? I'm actually gonna do it, right? That way you can see the whole thing, okay? It's gonna be a little bit longer, but you're gonna notice that when I work with my righty and when I work with my lefty, I'm doing the same thing, okay? But just I'm just mirroring, okay? So watch the next clip so you can actually see how it's done. So guys, this is it for a ball mastery number nine at home. Remember, this one, it's at home. I know the first eight, I did it at the field. For those of you that have a lot of space, 
You can do the ones in the one to eight, you can do it in the field, in a bigger space, or in a smaller space. You want to have, you want to just have the space to set up the full thing, right? But the ball master sequence, you can do it anywhere, right? Now, this one I did at home, that way you can see that it's, it could be done at home and this is easy, right? Make sure you practice it 10, 20, 30 times every variation, that way you can get good at it, right? Now, remember to play the infinite game, which is constantly being a better version of yourself. Stay tuned and see you guys in the next video.